Hello, welcome back. I'm Thomas Boucher, and this is part six of my small crab lock. So I'm pretty sure I'm basically caught up to where I was before when I kind of started some of these parts over. Um, I think I actually went a little further as I kind of forgot where I was. I actually made the two tumblers off camera because I forgot I needed to record as I made um, forward progress. But pretty much where I had left off. So now what I need to do is I need to get these fit up to try to get them in the lock and see if everything's working. But so I've got a new main plate. The spring is the same. The jaws are new, so those will need to be filed, but I've got them fit in. I'm using the same ward box. I made a new cover plate. And the tumblers are new. I am also reusing the original key. So I'm just quickly making a post for the two tumblers to pivot around between the two jaws. So I'm just kind of filing up a tenon real quick. Pretty sure I've shown this process before, so I'm not really going into detail. I'm pretty happy with that, I think. So I'm gonna rivet it in. So I just put this one in. So now what I need to do is trim up these two tumblers and they're gonna sit on each other like this. So what I need to do is just kinda overall clean them up. I need to cut these legs down so that they're the same height, or the correct height. The key is gonna bear against these two points here. So I need to kinda get that all figured out, get them fit together. It's been a little while since I've made one of these, and when I was trying to test fit the, the lower tumbler, uh, I realized that the pin that I put in earlier for them to go through wasn't correct. I just had it flush like these two. But it actually needs to be longer and have a tenon on the top for when the cover plate goes on to get the cover plate to be riveted on. So I went ahead and popped out that pin, and I'm making a new one now. So this is what I was talking about. The post here needs to have a tenon on, on the top. So both of the tumblers pivot on that, but that's also going to be what rivets the cover plate over the top of everything. So these tumblers aren't entirely fit to this lock yet, but they're roughly in there and I want to show you how it kind of functions. So you can see as the key would push that over, it would open those jaws. Now the key is going to have to engage both of these pieces here and here to be able to open both jaws. This upper tumbler is taller, so it's going to engage with this one and be able to push it over further. And the lower one is going to stick out a little bit further on the bottom to be able to push this one over. So really you're, you need to push both of them to be able to open this, or that'll be the case when the lock is done. Um, so if you push only one of them, you can see that this one on the, on the side here, this jaw, is really the only one moving. So if you only let's say try to pick this lock and we're only able to move the one jaw, you're still not going to be able to be able to open the trunk because the catch is still going to be stuck on this side of the jaw. So the key is going to have to push both of these tumblers over in order to properly unlock this lock. So I've got the cover plate on the lock now and what I want to do now is adjust the tumblers. This one here on the front is way too long. I can't even get the ward box on so I need to cut that out so I can get the ward box on and begin to start adjusting them so that I can actually function the lock with the key and begin to start kind of finishing it up. I still need to do all the filing and decoration and stuff. I haven't done it on the jaws, but, and uh, of course make the catch, but I want to start trying to function this with the key and get it um, finished up. So what I'm gonna do now is try putting the ward box on and I'm gonna secure it in place with some small screws. That way, it's not permanently fixed, so I can adjust stuff and take it off, but it'll hold it solidly so I can test things and make sure stuff's going to work. The key post I've got on here, just a hair out of center for this key. So I'll have to make a little bit of an adjustment for that. Trying to put everything together at the moment. 
pretty good idea of what it's gonna look like. So at the moment I can't even put the key all the way in because the lever on this tumbler is actually in the way of the key from going all the way down onto the post. So I'm gonna have to trim that. So hopefully you can see these. This one I have stacked on top is actually the lower one. But I think you can see that the two levers on them aren't bent at the same angle. And so what I want to try to do, I think this top one's better. So I need to match kind of the angle. So they seem to be fitting into the lock alright, but this part here on the bottom, which is where the key would come in and push it over, I need to start shaping that properly. So the key is functioning, this one jaw. But the problem is the key isn't turning very far and it won't stay there. Ideally you ought to be able to turn the key and have the lock stay open. So I need to keep carbon material off that lever in order to allow it to go over far enough. So obviously it's working, but the key can't turn quite far enough yet. So I've got that one tumbler fitting and you can see the key can go all the way over and stop and leave it open. So that's how it should function. I'll fit the other one as well and get it to work in a similar fashion. So now that I got the first tumbler let into the lock and it seems to be functioning fine, I'm going to start to work on the second one. So now that I've got both of the jaws opening up pretty evenly, they're coming basically to the edge of this case, the next thing I need to do is work on the cover plate to fit it on here because as I try to open the lock now, the jaws are wanting to slowly pull away because there's no cover plate to kind of hold them on. So I think that's the next thing I'm going to do is get that fit on to make sure that the lock still functions well, kind of with the cover plate there to restrict them a little bit. I think things will work a little bit better too once things start getting riveted. The spring still is not riveted, it's just kind of, the tenon's just going through the case. So it's moving around too, so since things are still kind of moving around some, I think that's what's happening there. But it seems to be functioning pretty well. I'm happy with that, mo that motion there, that movement. Don't forget, you can also get my basic handmade padlock book. I'll link to that in the description below. So I'm also going to be teaching a padlock class at the New England School of Metalwork. Head on over to their website, click on the blacksmithing tab, and scroll down to Smokehouse Padlock and you can find the information for that class. If you want to learn how to make a padlock and you want to learn with me, then go ahead and enroll in that class. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps me out and it will keep you updated on projects such as this small crab block and my shop which I'm currently standing in. So thanks again for watching. Bye!